Okay, as you can see, I've got the valve out of that. I showed you how to do that in an earlier video. Uh, the seat did fall back in when we were pulling the valve out. However, see how it's moving? That'll never work. Of course, this is a junk head. I'm not trying to save this head. But you can save when these seats do this. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. First, take a punch. Yeah. Smack it there. Make sure it's seated. And just go around it. Careful not to do that. I didn't get close. Over here is a little tricky, but you can do it. What you're doing is you're smashing that aluminum back down to hold that valve sheet in place. There's videos on YouTube that does this. They never have an issue with it. I don't either. I've done I've done an old Homolite hater works this way one time. On a flathead. Yes, I finally blew the motor up in it, but that was after I did away with the governor on it. And turned it into a mud mower. I threw a rod in it. Had nothing to do with this. The, head, the valve never did come back, or the valve seat never did come back out. It had no valve issues whatsoever after that. Still had good compression. Of course, on that L head, or flat head, whichever one you want to call it. You did this to the block. Basically, you saved the, the block when you do this. I mean, it's, if you don't do this, it would be junk anyway. Uh, see? It's nice and tight in there now. Can't pull it back out, even with a magnet. Yes, that's aluminum. That's steel. And it's always, almost always, the exhaust valve does this. The intake valve very seldom does this. And that's because there's not as much heat on the intake valve in here. See, there's no... On the intake valve, you got fresh gas and stuff coming in. As long as that seats, there's no heat in there. Now, let's rephrase that. There's heat in there because it's the engine. But there's a lot more heat in this valve, this side here, which is the exhaust. That intake, all that in there. You know, you got fresh gas and stuff coming through, vapors. That actually cools this side. But when that head gets hot, it expands. That aluminum expands faster than the steel so it lets this fall out now i'm i would actually there's a small burr on that i would actually clean that up a little bit after i was done make sure that's divoted real good around the edge don't get the valve seat just the aluminum what you're doing is you're shoving that aluminum back in against that valve seat I would regrind the valves after that, but because when that come out, oops, that's the intake valve, ain't it? Nope, 
that's exhaust valve. This one must have did it right as I shut it off. I think it did. And think of it, I didn't shut it off. It just did it to one time. Do you see where it knocked off the carbon here? If it had been coming out and put going back in, that seat would probably be messed, or that valve surface right here would be messed up. That seat would be messed up. That seat, I would actually agree, at least at the very, very minimum, lap that valve back in. But again, I showed you I'd do that on that good head the other day. Uh, or did I publish that video? I just realized I may not have published that video. That was a more Monday too. Did I go on it? I got sidetracked. And I don't remember actually putting it on there. So it's either last more Mondays or this coming up more Mondays. Uh, anyway, this head's junk, so I'll show you the reason why it's junk showed you before, or will show you. See that little piece of wire right there? That's the only thing holding that bolt in. On the exhaust side. That's the hole stripped out. So, that was the reason why I went ahead and replaced that head. It was holding. I put that in there just to see if the motor would knocking or anything, see if it was worth fixing. If it was knocking, I would have just trashed the whole thing. But the motor sounds great. Does need a muffler, but that ain't the motor. But Anyway, you see the divots real good now with that light. All the way around there, I missed a little spot there, but if you go all the way around it. I didn't get this side very well, like I said, I just kind of, you get the idea. You go all the way around it, and it was, that was actually mushrooming out a little bit. And I did get the seat surface right there in that one spot. You got to be careful with that. Don't be doing that. Basically what you're doing is you're smashing that aluminum back down to hold that seat in place. And anyway, there's your snack. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. The name of the channel is not changing, however the name of the shop has. It's now Buckland Outdoor Power Equipment. The reason being is I do work on golf carts occasionally. And even though I haven't showed it on the channel, there may be some golf cart videos coming soon. So stay tuned.